Glenda, when you actually start seeing them here on Woodward Avenue, it really is when the excitement starts to build up inside of you. Yes, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and it's game on for the parade. It's a sight unlike any other. Each and every float from tomorrow's show rolling down Warren Avenue. For 90 years, uh, Detroit has come together in a real special way. Everybody is a friend. Everybody is just just on Woodward smiling and you could just feel the love of the city and what's happening that day and how much people really care about each other in this city. Tony Michaels, the parade company CEO, met up with me earlier in the day as the final touches behind closed doors were going on. He tells me he's expecting big things for tomorrow's parade. I'd really love people to take in all the great new floats, enjoy seeing Judge Damon Keith, who's an icon in, in our lives, in our community, uh, Keegan Michael Key, another Grand Marshal. Have fun. Have fun. Of course, you'll also want to be safe. Keep in mind, security will be tight. In fact, we already saw police escorts for the floats as they began to arrive at the staging location. And more security will continue to arrive as road closures begin to roll out this evening. Some already starting in the past few minutes. Now, a big stage indeed. It's a lot of excitement out here. You can see that security has been making their rounds in just the past couple of hours. Now all we need to do is wait for tomorrow's daylight and then everything will be underway here on Woodwork. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Matthew Smith. 7 Action News. All right, Matthew, always excited for all the families that are going to come and see the parade. Well, President